I have an issue. Copy. Fox, Daniel Fox. Should I switch it off? Uh, yeah, you'll have to switch it off, Daniel. So if you can roll to somewhere safe. Okay, yeah, I, I rolled as, as far as I could. Um, Alright, I'll jump out. That is safe. So sorry to see you retire from what looked like a relatively decent position as well, given how the season has started for McLaren. Talk us through what you think the issue may be. Um, it was... I lost... I, I lost drive. Um, so it could, could be a number of things, maybe drive shaft, if I was to guess. But I'm no, I'm no mechanic, so don't, don't take my word for it. Um, but yeah, it was uh, obviously... Uh, I think we could have had a double points, which is pretty awesome from where we were a week ago. And uh, yeah, it was um, it was looking all right. I think there's some positives to take from the weekend for sure. Um, so yeah, we still have a lot to go, but uh, so, certainly some progress, which is nice. And I think just uh, the racing, the racing's fun. You know, you, you can follow this year and I think everything that we hoped would, would come out of these new cars so far is is uh, bearing true. So I'm really happy with that. And uh, like watching the battle for the lead, it's really awesome to see that racing so of course I want to be there but uh, to know that we can fight hard like that this year it's uh, it's really exciting so hopefully we're battling for some bigger positions soon. Hello everyone this is the casual fan. For Daniel Ricciardo the year was 2018. He'd been a part of Red Bull Racing for five years. The title fight that he craved for far too long had not materialized with the team. More importantly, the young charger in the other cockpit had started adding maturity to his game. Ricciardo was losing out to this young charger more frequently and he felt that the team was gyrating towards Max more and more. At the end of the year, the contract was up. Red Bull was more than willing to sign him up for the future. But for Daniel Ricciardo, Red Bull didn't feel home anymore. At that point in time, he was rated one of the best drivers on the grid. But the team was leaning more and more towards Max Verstappen. Was Red Bull going to win a title one day? There was no doubt that it was. But would he be the one that they were going to back when push came to shove? At that point in time, he wasn't sure about that. Max was young. But more than that, he had already shown that he was a generational talent. Ultimately, the Australian realized that Red Bull was not his team anymore and he decided to make a switch. That was 2018. Ricciardo was young. He was considered to be one of the best drivers on the grid and the future looked promising for the Australian. We are in 2022 right now. Ricciardo is already in his 30s. He's moved from Renault to McLaren in the meantime and won just a single race in the last three years. Currently, he's part of McLaren where he has no points to his name in a car that is not capable of even podium contention. A career that looked promising in 2018 with endless possibilities, well, it looks uncertain right now and seems to be heading towards a rather unpromising end. At the end of the 2021 season, things looked promising for Daniel Ricciardo and McLaren. The team had been making a steady surge towards the front. It finished fourth in the championship only behind the giants of the grid like Mercedes, Red Bull and Ferrari. But more importantly, it picked up its first win and pole position in over a decade. For the new regulations that were rolled out this season, at least in my view, McLaren appeared to be one of the dark horses. It had a great pairing of drivers and it had a track record of improvement over the last few seasons. However, once we reached the first race of the season, reality struck when McLaren found out it did not have enough downforce on the car as compared to the rest of the grid. From belonging to the top of the midfield, the team can't even buy a Q3 slot right now. 
while yes it's highly likely that the team will make progress throughout the season and we could see them jumping back to the front of the midfield the start of the season has made everyone realize that mclaren might not be well equipped to be a championship contender the team is not in the same league when it comes to race operations the car is not where it should be in terms of competitiveness but more importantly mclaren is dependent on an engine supplier for now it has mercedes as an engine partner but will that remain the case if mclaren becomes a direct competitor to mercedes that is a critical question that mclaren needs to address in the long term with the current set of regulations and the current situation mclaren finds itself in it seems that it has reached its ceiling on where it can be on the grid is it possible that the team gets even better in the future and becomes a title contender sure it can but let's be fair that is not going to happen in the immediate future now even if we turn a blind eye to mclaren's performance this season it's not easy to turn a blind eye to where ricciardo finds himself on the grid as compared to the 2018 season where ricciardo was considered one of the elites on the grid the 2022 season finds ricciardo fighting it out with the likes of charles leclerc lando norris george russell and many other younger drivers for the top honors sure he's still a pretty good driver but will he be at the top of the list for mercedes if somehow lewis decides to retire tomorrow it's hard to say yes to that question there is an entirely new breed of young drivers that are fast consistent and most importantly young enough to build a team around daniel ricciardo on the other hand is in his 30s he had a rather poor season with mclaren last year where norris convincingly beat him and he has looked like a slower driver this season as well it's not only the fact that ricciardo finds himself in a team where he cannot fight for the championship it's the fact that he is not showing the consistency and performance levels you look for in a title challenger something he was able to show consistently in 2018 at the moment on the current grid drivers like norris russell leclerc sainz gasly and even ocon have displayed a better level of performance than ricciardo which is probably more alarming than even the state mclaren finds itself in now as we alluded to earlier nothing works for daniel ricciardo right now he is in a midfield team that's not fighting for titles any soon to add to this right now he is not the prized commodity he used to be a few years back norris has been handedly beating him at mclaren and to make things worse every other top team already has one lead driver locked up for the future max is max has signed a long term deal with red bull ferrari has secured leclerc for the long term mercedes has george and lewis and mclaren has hedged its bet on norris the only possible option for daniel ricciardo if he wants to look for a seat at a title contending team is going to the teams as the less favored driver mercedes might have a vacancy once hamilton retires red bull might take a second look at perez if he is unable to perform at the level team wants him to sadly for the australian ricciardo is not young he is not performing at a level that makes him the most sought after driver on the grid and most importantly there aren't any seats available at the big teams unless lady luck strikes for the australian it does appear that a career that once looked so promising might be looking at a rather meek end Daniel Ricciardo was one of the brightest stars in F1 in 2014. Sadly for him, the lack of luck and the emergence of a certain Max Verstappen derailed what could have been a much more successful career in Formula 1. It's kind of sad to make such a video about the fun-loving Australian, but if we are fair, this is the situation Ricciardo finds himself in. So these were my views. What do you guys think? Is there a possibility of Daniel Ricciardo fighting for a title somewhere in the future? Do let me know in the comment section. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.